Hi, welcome to the Manning, home of the endangered Manning River turtle. It's only in these waters that this beautiful turtle is found and we're working to ensure its survival. I'm Claire. And I'm <coughs> Kerry. And we form part of the Manning River Turtle Group. And as part of With Nature 2020, we'd like to tell you about the turtle, where and how it lives, what's happening to try and ensure its survival in the wild and what you can do to help. The Manning River Turtle is a freshwater turtle whose direct ancestors have been traced back 55 million years. This lineage is incredibly special. It lives in the middle and upper reaches of the Manning River catchment on the mid-north coast of New South Wales, Australia, where cool, deep pools are connected by clear flowing rapids over rocky riverbeds through shady overhanging trees. We are still at the early stages of discovering more about its distribution and numbers, but we know that there is concern for its population and trends. Surveys have been increased in the past few years in an attempt to understand more. So this beautiful mural was painted by local world-renowned illustrator, Peter Scouten. And we can't show you a live Manning River turtle because they're rare and endangered, but here you can see a lot of their anatomy. So the Manning River turtle is, can be distinguished from other turtles in the region by its beautiful yellow stripe along its throat. It has two small barbels under its chin. <clears throat> and this turtle can exchange oxygen through its cloaca which enables it to stay underwater for long periods of time. And this is why it's become fondly known as the bum breather. It's a short necked turtle, which means it can't retract its head fully under its shell. And this leaves it vulnerable to predators like the fox. The Manu River turtle doesn't often come out of the water other than to bask in the sun on a rock, but females do need to find sand or gravel beds on the banks of their watercourses to dig a hole with these sharp claws and lay their eggs in late spring or summer. The Manning River turtle feeds on live prey, such as aquatic insects, aquatic vegetation, and the fruits of rainforest trees that fall into the water. So we'll go down to the river and show you. The Manning River turtle had survived for millions of years, but it really is feeling the pressure these days. Human impacts are taking their toll. Habitat degradation and loss is the main threat. Reduced water quality and flow is thought to affect their health and reproduction. Riverside clearing and stream bank erosion reduces their food sources and affects foraging and nesting opportunities. The introduced fox is known to predate freshwater turtle nests with as many as 95% of nests being raided for similar species in other areas. The fox isn't native to Australia and it has devastating impacts on our wildlife. It'll even kill the female turtle as she lays her eggs. Feral pigs are also likely to predate the eggs. And natural events such as droughts, fires and floods have occurred over the millions of years that the turtle has survived, but these events are now happening with such ferocity and frequency driven by human induced climate change, change that there is great concern about the turtle's survival. The species is also highly at risk from the possibility of disease outbreaks. The restricted range of the species with apparently low population size and the range of pressures which affect adult survival and recruitment mean that the species is at risk of extinction in the wild. The Manning River Turtle Group was formed in 2017 to raise awareness for the turtle in our community with public events and education. We helped Aussie Ark to establish a captive breeding program, which was in response to risks of disease outbreaks, as well as the devastating drought and fires of 2019. The Manning River Turtle now has a small population of turtles safeguarded for the future and a program to reduce hatchlings into the wild when conditions are favourable. So we also assist by our advocacy work and by bringing government agencies together with researchers and local landholders. So the key to the survival of the turtle is the management of threats and the protection of habitat. So community awareness and involvement is vital. Restoring the rivers, protecting them for the future, helping researchers with surveys and analysis so we can really develop the best strategies and measure the outcomes. So what can you do? If you live locally, be on the lookout for the Manning River Turtle and report your sighting to our group. 
so that we can lodge the record on valuable databases. You have an exciting opportunity soon to be involved with caring for our rivers through Citizen Science and Water Watch. Keep an eye on our web page or our Facebook page for more details. From, if you're from further away, you can support Aussie Ark in its breeding program, aussieark.org, and our group in the work that we do, manningriverturtle.org. And we want to encourage people to visit and appreciate nature and the rivers, to be stewards. It's so valuable to learn about the amazing species such as the Manning River turtle and the environment in which they live, to learn about their plight and then be advocates for their ongoing survival.